Hello there, ladies. This is Michelle Marchant Johnson with Love Life Coaching, and I'm here to help you be that woman of high value and attract your high quality man. So today I'm going to talk about something that frustrates so many women and has left so many women in a state of wonderment and feeling like, what in the world happened? And that is when a guy says he's going to call and he never calls. So we're gonna dive into this a little bit today, and this can happen in a variety of ways. So you might meet a guy, he might ask for your number, and you have every reason to believe he's going to call and ask you out. He may say, I'll call you, I'll give you a call, and then crickets, nothing, nothing on the phone. Or another scenario is you go out with a guy, you feel like there's a connection, he might mention something about a next date, he might say, I'll give you a call. He might even say, let's go to the movies or let's go out to dinner or let's do this or that. And he'll say, I'll give you a call. And then guess what? Crickets. Now this is one common frustration and complaint from women about men. So we're going to dive into this a little bit. I will say there's a flip side to this, which we'll talk about in a future uh, episode, and that is when the guy comes on like gangbusters. But let's stick with this for now, because this is a common theme that comes up in dating. So what are the reasons that a man says this if he doesn't intend to follow through? Well, there are three things that come to mind that I think uh, are very common reasons a man doesn't call. The first one, and perhaps the most frustratingly obvious one, is he really didn't intend to call to begin with. He was just saying that as a nice parting line, or he thought you were kind of interesting, but not interesting enough to really follow through. He was being flirtatious and got caught up in the moment but he didn't really intend to follow through. That's frustrating. That's really frustrating. But as a woman of high value, this is why you don't want to get overly focused or overly attached to any one outcome with any one man until you see how he's showing up over a period of time. Because words are one thing, actions are another. And when it comes to men, even if they're saying all the right things, if the actions aren't there to back it up, there could be a big disconnect. So don't take this personally if it happens, even though it's hard not to, because it just may be that the man has something going on inside of himself that's making him feel a little bit, a bit conflicted. Or leading into reason number two, he just may be busy or distracted with something else. Now this is a real phenomenon with men. Men tend to be kind of uh, tunnel vision and single focused and very efficient in the things that they do. But what that means is if they have a lot going on in their professional life, in their personal life, if they're genuinely busy, or if they genuinely have some significant demands that are pulling them in another direction, it may be that they just don't have the mental, psychological bandwidth to go anywhere else because they're so focused and intent on solving whatever challenge, problem, issue might be coming up for them. Now this is pretty common, ladies, and especially if a man is going through something that you may or may not know about that is really distracting him or pulling him in another way, it may have absolutely nothing to do with you. It may not be that he wasn't attracted or that he wasn't motivated or that he didn't mean it when he said it. He just genuinely may be so uh, distracted by whatever is happening that that's the only thing that he's really focusing on at that time in his life. I've experienced this in my own life with men, and I've seen it in the case of my husband when something big is going on for him, where it's like he's just not able to really notice or pay attention to other things for a period of time. Now that can still be frustrating, and you may not even know what's going on, so that makes it even more frustrating. But this is a reason 
if a man calls back later than you think you should have, a couple of weeks later or even a couple of months later, you may want to give him the benefit of the doubt if you're interested in possibly going out with him or seeing him again. So that's the next reason. The third reason, this is something that I learned in interviewing my friend Greg McKelson, who is an author of many books on love, dating, and relationships, and a coach for women as well. And he said, I want to get his quote right, he said, our mouths get ahead of our intentions. So there are some guys who are smooth talkers or who are romancers or, or who get caught up in the moment or are enjoying being with you so much that they start over promising not necessarily meaning to in some cases it's an innocent thing you know we'll have to we'll have to go out to that restaurant or i'll have to take you there sometime or uh, you know, I even had one man once on Valentine's Day give me a set of pearls, and then he said something like, oh, wait till the next piece of jewelry. Well, I was pretty excited because this guy I really, really, really liked, and I'm thinking, wow, he has big plans. But he never followed through on that. That was more of an empty promise of us getting caught up in that moment, and him saying something that really he didn't intend, and fall, uh, in, intend to follow through on, at least not at that time. Um, you know, this could be, we'll have to go on a big trip together, or I'd like to take you here or there. It's fun to kind of think about these things, and sometimes it's fun to kind of fantasize about what happens. But again, coming back to what I said before, the actions have to back it up. You have to see him actually following through with these things and consistently following through and keeping his word to you is one of the key things that help you to know that he could be the right man, the kind of man that you can really count on and be in partnership with. So here's my advice on this. As frustrating as it is, first of all, don't make assumptions that you know what's going on. Don't blame it on yourself because in many, many, many cases, it has nothing to do with you. In some cases, it could have something to do with you in the sense that he might just not feel the level of attraction to you that motivates him to follow through. But again, that's not your fault. That's just who is attractive to him. And we all have the right to make those choices. So don't blame yourself. If at all possible, stay in an energetic space of knowing your own value, of knowing that it's important not to put all of your time, energy, attention, and focus on someone until you know that that person is really there for you and is really stepping up for you, pursuing you, making the effort and time to spend time with you, and he follows through on his commitments. That consistency, the communication, and keeping his commitments to you are keys to letting you know that he's the kind of guy that you can count on. And really, if he's a guy that makes a lot of empty promises, it's good to find out early in the game because you want someone that you can count on. You're a woman of high value and you deserve to be treated like someone's priority. There's a saying that says, uh, don't don't treat someone like your priority when they're treating you like an option. And that comes into play here. So be courageous in knowing your own value. Stay focused on living your life richly and fully. Don't sit there by the phone and don't, uh, don't be frustrated about someone saying they'll call and them not following through because the right man will step up and will be there for you. So I'm cheering you on, I'm sending you love, and I hope this helps a little bit. And uh, stay out there in a way where you are enjoying your life, having fun, staying energetically centered in knowing that the right man will step up in a meaningful and satisfying way. And uh, he's looking for you too. And there are guys like that, and it's such a reward. It's so worth uh, waiting for the kind of man that is really there for you. 
Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.